Here we have, I believe is a half scale Bryce Olds scale hit miss model engine. I've had some people try to tell me that these are quarter scale. I will let you determine that. It seems every time that I post that it's something's half scale or quarter scale, somebody on eBay or YouTube always gets back to me and says, no, nah, you're wrong, you're wrong. So I'll let that up to uh, you to decide what scale it is. It has eight inch flywheels. Oh, it measures about uh, just a hair less than 10 inches from side to side on the flywheels and it stands stands just slightly under 13 inches tall so you can be the one to determine what scale it is I believe it weighs in at about 45 pounds it's not a light one uh, well constructed fuel tank in the back. On the subject of the fuel, everybody always asks me what fuel I use, and I use uh, Coleman Lantern fuel. And in with that, I mix in a little bit of castor oil. That will, It would work out to like a 50 to 1, nothing more than a 40 to 1 mix. It's just to provide a little upper cylinder lubrication. This one has oil cups for the crankshaft ends. Just put a little bit of oil in there and it'll run out. They get a little messy when you run them. Upper cylinder lubrication. Fill this up. I just used 10, 10 W30 weight oil. When you screw this out, it opens up a needle and seat here and then it will drip. You only need it turned out just a little bit. And it drips oil in the upper cylinder for some more lubrication. This is to control, this setting here is to control the speed on the governor. You want to speed it up a little bit, you turn it in and increase the spring tension. You want to slow it down, you turn it out. These are not made for running fast. It seems I watch YouTube videos of guys and their model engines and they're just obsessed with running them at high speed. They just have to see how fast they're going to go. This, like the real one, is designed to run slow. So if you over rev it, you probably will break something. A miniature buzz coil, and I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. I'm just doing this video on one take here, so pardon me for any mistakes I make. Now, on the running of this motor, every every Olds I've had like this, they, they're a bit finicky. If you want one that's going to run perfect right out of the box, don't get an Olds. This is about the third one I have, and I have another one on my workbench that I'm going to be taking apart and, and painting and constructing. They can be a little bit finicky. Uh, let's start with the buzz coil here. I have the power on right now. And if you don't hear this, there's an adjustment on the top of the buzz coil for the gap with the points and let me turn this I don't want to be on the compression stroke just want to turn the flywheel here get the buzz coil to go because I just wanted to show you it's got to sound like that if it doesn't sound like that, you're not getting any spark to the plug. Buzz coil is adjusted by this. You're probably still getting some spark, but that's not the way it should sound. That's kind of weak like that.
and if you turn it in too much, it's going to stop. So since this, this is a scale buzz coil and it's kind of small, uh, it can be a little finicky. Finicky is the word for this motor. And it sounds like that, and you can pull the plug out and ground it and check. If I would to touch the wire right now, I'd get zapped. So if it doesn't sound like that, when the points are closed, the points close and they complete the circuit. If it doesn't sound like that, you're not going to be getting any spark. Okay. On the fuel mixer. I think on these they call them fuel mixers. I like to call them carburetors, but uh, I guess there's a different terminology for the hit and miss motors. On this one, originally did not have a choke plate on it. And I made this choke plate for this one because they always seem to run best with a little bit of choke on them. Just so you're seeing the holes a little bit. You need a little bit of choke to suck the fuel out. When you first turn it over and you fill it up with fuel, just spin it over like once when you first put fuel in the tank, maybe twice, and you'll see the fuel travel up in the fuel line. And it's the reason I put in a clear piece of, semi-clear piece of line here so you could see the, if the fuel was sucking up there. If you turn it over any more than that with a choke on, you're going to flood it out. You flood it out really bad, you're going to need to take the plug out and clean it off. So, especially when it's warm and you go to start it, turn it over. Don't turn it over any more than once past the compression stroke with the choke on. And open it up just part way and it'll start going. You have to turn it over a couple times. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it here right now holding the phone. But you bring it around to the compression stroke might make a liar out of me and fire off right now but I didn't run it with the choke closed you bring it up to the compression stroke and you just give it a flip flywheels rotate towards the back on the fuel mixture this is a bit sensitive the setting I put a mark I put a mark on it and when that's turned back in the three o'clock position, you don't want to force that, just turn it lightly. The fuel is off. If you turn this out three quarters of a turn, it's fully open. The needle is completely away from the seat. It's totally open and uh, it's probably going to be running in a rich condition. I've been running this about a quarter turn out to there maybe slightly more and with a little bit of choke on so I'm going to take another video starting it and I will show it running but I wanted to take this one with the motor not running so I could show you a few things as with any of these that I sell I can't make any guarantees that you're going to be able to get it running you need to know something about motors I mean, you could flood it out easily, and then the plug's going to be fouled out, and it's not going to start for you. You're going to take the plug out, clean it out. So like any of these that I sell on eBay, I do show them running. I will have the video posted in the ad showing it running. But I don't make any guarantees as to that you will be able to get it running. Can't stress that one enough. I'm sure somewhere somebody's going to purchase one. They don't know even how to start their weed whacker. And they're going to get one of these and expect to be able to just throw fuel in and get it to run. So that might not happen for you. So I just don't make any guarantees on whether you'll be able to get it to run or not, but I sell it in a running condition, and if I can't get it started and running, I don't sell them. I guess that's about it. Everything else will be in my ad. If you have any questions, please contact me. 
I have my email address posted below in the ad, joekind at comcast.net. And uh, drop me an email. I always start my prices high on eBay. Feel free to make me an offer. You don't start low and work your way up with prices. So there you go. Very nice displaying. Nice running. A little on the finicky side. But uh, if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to get it running. So check out my other video. And I'll show you starting it. And the rest is up to you. Hey, thanks for watching.